<gasps> Tell me about updates when it says you need a firmware update and people ignore it and they don't think about it. Why is it important to do these things? Um, very similar to your mobile phones or your tablets or laptops. When they say that you need a firmware update, they'll be more down the security line of things where and adding new features. Um, it's very similar with thermal imagers and digital night vision where it'll add either new features, bug fixes, um, stuff like that. It maybe changes the way the device operates in terms of button pressing so that it makes it a wee bit more streamlined, easier to use for newer people. Um, but mainly it's there for um, sort of bug fixes and then to add new features as well. So you are going to cause problems for yourself if you don't do it at all, basically? Yeah, you're, it's not going to cause you problems, it's just any problems that were there beforehand, um, wait, before you update, they will still be there if you don't update. So we would always sort of recommend to customers bef before you return anything or before you think there's an, a, a big problem with your device, just make sure it is running the latest firmware. Okay. Is it easy to do? Should people be scared of it? No, it, across a lot of brands, Pulsar, Infrared, Hick, Micro, even Sitemark Wraiths, they're very, very easy to do. A lot of them either come with step-by-step -step guides or they come with step-by-step -step features on their mobile phone apps that show you how to do it, especially with sort of diagrams and stuff like that. Um, with the Pulsar devices, um, they're, it's a very similar system with uh, Infrared and also Hick Micro, where it's all done via your mobile phone. So all you need is the app for that brand and you're good to go. And how does it tell you that it needs a firmware update? So with Pulsar, they, when you connect to the app, say for example you're using Stream Vision 2, you can go to your devices, so say for example I've got this C50 here, and you can check for firmware update, but it'll also tell you when you load into the app what devices you've connected to, say for example you've got a Helion 2, it'll say new updates available for the Helion 2, you just make sure you're connected to it, go into the product, and you press check firmware to update and it will then start downloading the update either off 4G if it's a very small file or it'll run off of uh, Wi-Fi as well and you just connect back to the device, press update and it transfers the file wirelessly so there's nothing really more you need to do. <gasps>